for you with that. Is it matter? Mm. Caddy, a word. What's Trisha doing asleep on my sofa? Ah, uh, <laughs> that. Well. Well, we didn't get into it, and Trisha hadn't got a key, and she didn't want to wake Alan up, so I offered her your sofa. I didn't think you'd mind. Fine. Though I don't suppose you want me to tell the rest of the village that I found Trisha in your pyjamas? No. You're up early, Zach. Oh, hi, priorities. Rest in force. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you coping being a new dad? Well, I love it, yeah. Getting to it like a duck to water. Really? Well, tell you the truth, it's not been as easy as I thought it'd be. That does surprise me. I can't believe it's such hard work looking after one tiny little sprog. 24 hour job, Rachel. Tell me something I don't know. Oh. And I bet she's keeping you up all night. Up and down like a flaming yo yo. Oh, the pleasures of being a new dad. But you've forgotten them? I had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I wondered. What? What? Have you got any tips, like? You being a young mum, I'll have to, well, keep her occupied during the day. No, but I've got a few baby manuals. You're more than welcome to borrow them. Really? Yeah. Dr. Spock's as good as ever. Hey, don't you think she's a bit young to be reading her Star Trek? Hey? <laughs> 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 hey. uh -uh. Oh, hello, love. Do you know, I'd forgot you was coming today. Come on, sit yourself down. I've made a nice brew. <laughs> there you are. So, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. Well, you should be able to cope, right, girl, like yourself. Thanks. As long as you know what you're getting yourself into. What are you talking about, Betty? Well, I don't know if you know, but... Uh, so he isn't like me and you. Oh. She's got herself a certain reputation for... Well, how can I delicately put it? Betty, I know Zoe's a lesbian. Oh. Oh, well, you won't be the first receptionist to fall under a spell. Well, I'm not a lesbian, and I don't fancy Zoe, so I don't think I'm in any danger. No, but supposing Zoe fancies you? Well, why should she? I mean, do you fancy every man you meet? Certainly not. Well, then why should she fancy every woman she meets? <laughs> you think I never thought about it like that? <laughs> oh... I think I've come through the wrong door. Sorry. Not going to say a word. That'll be a first. Shouldn't you be at home looking after Belle? You've not left Butch in charge of her again. Lisa, when I do a job, I do it proper. Well, what's that? Well, I'm just uh, brushing up my knowledge on childcare. Rachel entered us. Hey. Hey, I must say, Zach, I'm very impressed how serious you're taking this. I'm a man of surprises, Lisa. You certainly are. <laughs> what have you got in store for Belle today, then? I'm taking her into Otten. Do you think it's wise in this weather? Lisa. <clears throat> It is good for your baby to spend time in the open air. And she will enjoy the different sights, sounds and feelings. And that. Full of admiration. Any road, mustn't keep our bell waiting. We've got a whole stimulating day ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into the village later. Is that a good idea? We can't hide forever, Jack. Sarah's right, you know. But why don't you come to the Woolly Wizard, innit, Sarah? Come on. I'm 
I'm not sure. Well, nobody's going to be blaming you, are they? I know it wasn't our fault. I know there was nothing we could have done to stop it happening. Exactly. Yeah, but in my head, I'm still thinking, what if I'd done this? What if I'd done that? Why didn't I see what was going on with Andy? Yeah, but there's nothing you could have done about it anyway, is there? I know, but if these thoughts are going through my head, what must the rest of the village be thinking? We do have to face up to it, Jack. She's right. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. So tell me what you want and what you really, really want. A little cheeky. Hello. Come on, boys, let's get ourselves ready. Get ready for what? A little trip. Where to? Nelly's going to get her first taste of the real world. Oh, Dad, we're not taking a thieving, are we? No. We're going to check bookies. Oh. Hey. You, server. I can't face her. Yeah? Is Vivian? She's having a lie down. Why? Well, I... I... I'd like to have a chat with her. I, I just wanted to say how sorry I am about what happened. Just clear the air. You've got a cheek. Look, I didn't know that Andy was seeing his dad. If I did, yeah. I... Viv don't want to talk to you. So if you're not buying nothing, you can clear off. Hey, 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 come on. There's nobody like that. Isn't there? I lost my dad because of that lying little toe rag. And we're all very sorry. But you can't go on blaming Sarah. Can't I? Sarah's done nothing wrong. You want a villain, she's just walked in. Uh, envelopes and writing paper, please. Well, they'll be handy in your prison cell. So how are you coping? Fine, thank you. That was very heartfelt. Yes, it was. What are you doing, looking for a sympathy vote before they send you down? I don't need sympathy. Justice is all I'm after. Well, that makes two of us. Because I can't wait to see you behind bars, girl. You sure you want to put all that money on one horse? Uh, hello, Zach. Glory, hey, come and have a look in here. You're never going to believe this. What the? Surprise present on Christmas Day. Me and Lisa knew no about it. Zach, that's incredible. Our thoughts exactly. And is it a boy or a girl? A girl, we've called a bell. She's lovely. <laughs> no. Come and have a look at this. Hey, keep away if you're smoking. Oh, she's lovely. I bet you're pleased, Butch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm dead chuffed. And she's a bright girl, you know, Gloria. How can you tell at her age? On our way over here, she said her first words. Oh, yeah. Yeah? She said, Dad, put all your money on Saved by the Bell. You can't lose. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hi. I'm cooking tonight. What do you fancy? Uh, I'm busy tonight, sorry. Excuse me. What's going on? I'm going to be late for my next lesson. Have I done something wrong? I don't know, have you? What is it? Is it because I went to see Steve? It is, isn't it? Look, I don't have any feelings for Steve. No? No, and I haven't done for a long time. Then why did you go and visit him? Especially after what he's done. Because he wrote to me. He was desperate to talk. Why? He was lonely. Oh, so one letter and you go running to visit him. Oh, come on, it wasn't like that. Then how was it? I felt sorry for him. Sorry? How could you feel sorry for him? I, I don't know. I, I shouldn't have gone. I I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Are you playing games with me? What? To make me jealous. Is that the real reason you went to see Steve? No. It is, isn't it? No. I don't like it. I wanted an honest, open relationship with you, and I don't like playing games. And the 
jump the second last and saved by the bell has a useful looking lead clear by two to three lengths but under pressure on the outside is workstation footrest is coming with a run too race down towards the final flight and saved by the bell being hard ridden cool. on the outside the uh, with a run is cool. footrest cool. Cool. closing in on these just one more flight of hurdles to jump but it's getting it's tough up it front you, but it's saved by the bell being hard ridden over the last in the lead cool. but pressing hard on the outside both footrest and workstation it's going to be very close this saved by the bell pulls out more cool. as he race up to Oh, it's going to be Go saved on, by the bell. On, saved on. by the bell is yes. going to be the second. Workstation comes yes. home third. And these are well clear of the others. So, who's the mysterious lady of the manor then? <laughs> if you're referring to Stella, she's very well, thank you. I haven't seen her recently. I thought she must have, like, cut you into touch. It's a ridiculous. She is a very astute woman. <laughs> so, when you see her next, then? Uh, soon, I expect. She has got you into touch, hasn't she? <laughs> she most certainly has <laughs> not. Can't you be there, Biff? Oh, yeah, and shut this place down. I'm so nervous about it. Cathy, you're not the one that's on trial. I'm just not looking forward to it. Well, it's all going to be over soon, and you can put it all behind you. Bundy, you're not going to believe this. <sighs> Try me. Look. Blimey, where's you out from? Oh, you've not been thieving. No. We won it on the GGs. Yeah, oh. and it's all down to the luck little baby Bell brought us. Hey, Butch. Where is she? Where's she gone? Oh, heck, Dad. Didn't you had her? I flame him all, didn't you? Look, where is she? We must have left her in betting shop. Oh, cause like, how could you? Flaming egg. Zach? Who's in a rush? Uh, they left somewhere behind you, not What? Oh, that's something they bought for Belle. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So you've no idea when this friend of yours, uh, what's her name? Stella. You, you still don't know when she's moving into home farm? Soon. Very soon, I believe. And you've been advising her? Stella has been calling upon my wide business expertise, yes. Really? Hmm. And I've no doubt she will do so again in the near future when she moves into home farm. How are you, Jack? Oh, you know. I told him he had to get out instead of stuck at home moping. Yeah, quite right. You mustn't blame yourself for what happened with Andy. You were a very good father to him. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Now, what can I get you? I'll get this. You uh, know, final act for me. I've noticed a big change in Zach since baby come along. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Right. I didn't think he'd caught, but he surprised me. I think you've got a few more surprises coming up. It's like... It's like he's suddenly become more responsible. Really? Yeah, don't you agree, man? Yeah. Aren't you having any lunch? I'm not hungry. Can we talk? Please. Look, Graham, I didn't go to see Steve to make you jealous. I'm not that kind of person. I don't play games. Please. I, I probably should have told you that I was going to go, but... I didn't know how you'd react. Come on. I don't want to do anything to hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. So am I. I overreacted. Doesn't matter. It does. I should have known what you're like. You don't play those games. I shouldn't have gone off like that. <laughs> what? Do you want to know the real reason why I came to make peace between us? Well, I thought... 
if Graham gets that jealous about me going to see Steve, then he must really care about me, and I started to think about how I felt. I love you. Thank God! Oh, Dad, I told you not to worry. Oh, Jack, I'll tell you I relieved him. I've never been as frightened in all my life. I'm shaking. Oh. Come on, little un. <laughs> you must be starving. What? Oh, wait, Dad. No, no. Gloria, whose bag is this? Ain't it yours? No, it's full of dirty washing. They've taken my bag with Bell inside. All right, Zach. Calm down. We can sort it out. Whose bag is it? It's Phyllis's bag. Phyllis? Who's Phyllis? You know, the woman who was in this morning. She comes in here every Thursday on her way to the laundrette. Uh, right. You'll find her there. Right! Hi, Cathy. Can I come in? I need to talk to you. Sound serious? Not here, Dad. Oh, flaming egg, Dad. Please let her be in here. Oh no! Dad, everything's gone. Nappy's bottle, the lot. What are we going to do? Where can she be? I know. Where? Well, maybe Phyllis is taking her down to the police station. Well, why did you say that? Oh come on, Dad. What would you do if you found a baby? You're right. right come on. Oh, hang on. What's the matter? Can you imagine what the police would do if they found out Zach Dingner lost his newborn baby? To get in touch with social services. I'd be declared an unfit parent. A little bell would be taken into care, and then Lisa would divorce me. I've got an idea. Well, this better be good. Look, right. I'll phone the police and tell them that I was looking after baby Bell. Yeah. But I've left her somewhere, you know, I've lost her. And then um, it's not to do with you then, is it? You know, you're not gonna get into trouble. But oh, you're a genius. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, please, please. Look, make sure she's there before you say your name. Yeah, uh, hello? Yeah, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just ringing up. Yeah, has anybody handed in a baby? Yeah, yeah, a baby. A description. A description? Well, how many babies get handed in one day? Just ask them again, is she there? Yeah, uh, so, have you? Have you got a baby? No. Are you sure? What my name? Uh, oh, oh, it don't matter. That is not there. Butch, I have never been as scared in the whole of my life. What am I going to do? Here you go. Thanks. I've been thinking about the trial. Yes, yeah, so have I. I expect you'd be glad when it's over. Kim, it's not just that. Oh? I couldn't sleep last night, worrying. Cathy, there's nothing to worry about. Steve's gonna be sent down, he won't get off. <laughs> as long as I say he deliberately ran me over, right? Exactly. But that's what's worrying me. <sighs> I don't want my evidence to send Steve to prison for a crime he didn't commit. What do you mean? What's it look like? Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. It's Lisa. Oh, no. You have to tell her. How can I tell her? I can't. Hi, Lisa. What are you doing all this time? Oh, well, I didn't have much on. And tell you the truth, I was missing my little girl. Where is she? Upstairs? Oh. I've just put her down. It's best not to disturb her, lot. Oh. Oh, she'll be wanting the next feed soon. I'll hang around till then. I'll feed her myself. Right. Tea all round? Mm. Please! Is everything all right? Yeah. Why shouldn't it be? Well, you seem very quiet, that's all. 
tired. Didn't realise uh, what hard work it is looking after a kid. Oh, but I'm very proud of you. You're doing a fine job. And you, Butch. Thanks for all your help and all. Yeah, any time at all, Lisa. What can I say? I expect you've been oh. right worried. Worried? I've aged 20 years today. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. hey. I'm not going to let this baby out of my sight for the rest of my life. Well, I was on my way to the police station when I thought, no, I bet Gloria knows where he lives. So I came here as fast as I could. Oh, you're an angel. Oh, she's a lovely little baby. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Yeah. I can't tell you how, how grateful I am. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, no, I, I don't want no money. Hmm? Money? Oh, it's a tip. Yeah, you just cashed a 330 at Weatherby. Now, I've marked it, lost and found. Zach? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think I'll just pop upstairs, see my little girl. No, Lisa, I, you better not do that. Look, there's something I think I better tell you. She must have known her mother was home. She's just waiting up. Oh, let me take her. <laughs> Just give her a little cuddle myself first. Lisa, I'm going to be the best dad in the world. You are the best dad in the world. Kathy, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm just saying I'm no longer sure. Can't you see how dangerous he is? He can't be allowed to get away with it. Before I stand up in that witness box, I've got to be clear in my own mind that he ran me down on purpose. Kathy, look, I can understand how you feel. You're under an awful lot of pressure, but I won't be responsible for sending Steve to prison for attempted murder unless I'm absolutely sure. Kathy, believe me, he tried to kill you. How do you know? How can you really know you weren't there? It might have been an accident. I know Steve. I know him like no-one else does, and believe me, he is dangerous. If he gets away with this, I'm frightened what he might do to me. I am. You don't know what he's capable of. Kathy, you have got to stick to your story. Please. <laughs>